Hello and welcome to another episode of My GM on WWE 2K22. We are in week 49 of the 50 weeks. This is the final week of action before WrestleMania. We have a nice big lead over SmackDown. I don't see any way that uh, we can lose that lead, so... Get into uh, this week. Trent Seven said things aren't working out. I'm ready to tear up my contract and move on. I really wish he would have done it months ago. He has been in 12 matches. I didn't think I used him that much. He's 4-8. and eight. Just not a big Trent Seven fan, so um, didn't put him to much use. Especially after you keep booking me in pointless matches against Lesnar. The only way you can... I'm not giving you $100,000. I didn't want you in the first place. Bye. Kick rocks, bitch. I'm giving you one more chance and that's it. Yeah, whatever. All right, Macho Man. That loser, Kevin, attacked me during that last fight. I'm not going to stand for that garbage. I want to settle things in the ring with him within the next three weeks. Yeah, we'll put you in there today. Let's see, you know, in the next three weeks, we don't have three weeks left. So it doesn't matter if we cannot honor that. I, Nash is already involved with somebody, I think. Macho Man has been in six matches. He's two and four. It's not good. Well, we'll promise it. Because the three weeks is... is uh. There is no three weeks. There's no third week. So let's see what this idiot wants us to do this week. Schedule a run in on one of your champions. Okay. And we get a free special effects booking, which doesn't really matter. Okay. Macho Man wants Kevin Nash. And schedule a run in on one of your champions. All right. So. I don't want any of my champions to be in action. Andre has better stamina than uh, Nia Jax does, so we will do him. Uh, we'll match him up against what could be a good match. Nope, the Macho Man is going against him. Them two have something going on. He's got something going on. All right, we'll give him the anvil. Yeah, we'll give him the anvil. And it is a non-title match. Oops. Thank you, Jim, for doing that. We want a non-title match. And we will do a run-in. And it will be Scott Hall. Nope. Doing the run-in. Okay. All right. Does that make Triple H happy? It does. Okay. Uh, let's see. We, we can do Macho Man has 72 stamina. Nash, where are you at? Did I really? Oh, Jesus. No. Okay. Where's Where's Kevin Nash? Oh, he's right there. All right. Macho Man wants a fight with him. He's got nothing else going on. So we'll make that happen in the main event. And here well yeah, we got the big boss man at a four. We'll do Hitman and Ric Flair again. Get that up to a three. So Andre's match has a run in, we cannot watch it. Hitman and Bret Hart will watch the uh, Macho Man and Kevin Nash match. Alright, he's happy. We have a budget of 1.1 million. Very good. We're going to same thing. Football stadium. <clears throat> uh, 
All right, $275,000 show costs, but let's see. Injury rehab, injury rehab, double the cost. That doesn't really matter. <clears throat> injury rehab, we'll put it on SmackDown, but their budget is over $3 million right now, so it's not going to hurt them at all. And, uh... Usable on superstars with less than 60 popularity. We could put that on Andre, huh? Let's do that. All right. Nothing really <clears throat> there. There are the ratings. We have a good lead. Over 200,000. So we're, we're feeling confident. Let's throw some promos in. Nia Jax. Give her a promo to get her ready for WrestleMania. And we'll put the big boss man. I'm sorry, the uh, Undertaker. In there. All right. Book it. We are in Montreal, Canada, in the football stadium, home of the Montreal Alouettes. I don't know the name of the stadium that they play in, but that's what we're going to call it. All right, this has a run in, so it's a simulate One, two, only. Three. It's a non title bout. Jim the Anvil Nightheart gets the win over Andre the Giant. Andre and Scott Hall's rivalry goes up to level three. That's good. The match itself, one and a half stars, disappointing. Nia Jax coming out. Her stamina is only 19, so it went up three. Very good with her good promo. Ric Flair and Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh, look at Brett. One, two, three. Brett Hart gets the win. In a great match, three and a half stars. Their rivalry goes to level three. He uh, he was down to 13 stamina, though. I hope that didn't take a lot out of him. The Undertaker puts out an excellent promo. Effect of five. And here we have the main event for the evening. The Macho Man taking on Kevin Nash. And about that really has nothing to do with anything. Just hoping that the Macho Man does not get hurt. So he can take on the Miz. The cream of the crop has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida. Weighing in at 239 pounds. Macho Man. If you want a blueprint for how to be one of the top superstars in all of sports entertainment, look no further than the Macho Man. Not even that, Byron, but consider the amount of influence that Randy Savage has had on the entire sports entertainment industry throughout the years. A real trailblazer, the Macho Man. The madness, as always, in peak physical condition tonight. Uh, it must be the meat snacks he eats. We have the meats. Oh, this can't be good. What are you talking about? This is awesome. Yeah, for who? And his opponent representing the Outsiders from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash! As calculating and controversial as they come. Nash has next level power and also next level tricks up his sleeve. Kevin Nash quite simply knows how to win.
Can you imagine what the NWO would do to Byron? <laughs> That's not a funny thought. <laughs> hey, Kev, he's over here. No. Nope. Hut, hut. I'm getting <laughs> What an intimidating presence. All right, final match before WrestleMania. Just hoping that the Macho Man doesn't get hurt. Macho Man set to compete. Kind of hoping that Kevin Nash doesn't get hurt either. He was a little low on stamina coming in. He's taken and starting to pile up. There you go. Way to turn the tide. Oh, that didn't work. Didn't last. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Sliding back into the action. He climbs into the ring. There you go. Busting him open. Throw him the elbow, Macho. There you go. That'll do her. Oh, he got nothing left. Wow. There you go. Get on him. Try it again. Oh, he's going up again. He's got another elbow. Here he comes. Good night, Mr. Nash. I think the quotation marks are backwards. Two and a half stars, okay, new rivalry. All right, Macho Man gets the victory. New rivalry, I don't know. I was hoping to have something better lined up for him. There, 
WrestleMania, but it doesn't really matter. There's SmackDown. And let's see, we lost 1-1. One, one. Very good. So we got uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and a half. They got 6. So we won 7 and a half to 6. Jim the Anvil Nightheart beats Andre the Giant in a non-title bout. Brett the Hitman Hart took out Ric Flair. And the Macho Man downed Kevin Nash. Show quality B, match quality D. I would agree with that. Rating 88, we lost 37,000 fans. $18,000 on the network payout, $360,000 in ticket sales, $120,000 in ad revenue. We made a profit of $217,000. Very good. Now, the number to keep in mind, we lost 37000 Got the free booking for next week. Now let's see what SmackDown did. They lost 20,000, so they gained another 17,000 fans on us. Show quality C, match quality C, rating 88. 20,324 fans lost. They made a profit of $131,000. Coming into the final week, we have a 235,000 fan lead. 235,000. I think the most fans we lost in a week was 44,000. So we're in good shape. Still going to, you know, we, we, we went all out for that reason. And now Providence, Rhode Island... Time for WrestleMania. Big Boss Man wants out. It's the last week. I don't care. Let him go. He's not. Uh, oh, no, no, no. He's he's uh, he's in a rivalry with the uh, Undertaker. That's going to be part of WrestleMania. All right. Well, I thank you very much for joining me for week 49. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like down there and be sure to subscribe to the channel because we got a lot of great content coming up. Uh, we have WrestleMania next session to finish off the My GM mode. Then I'm going to do a complete review of the My GM mode. And then I don't know what's next. I haven't decided. Uh, they're still working on the universe at this time uh, of this recording. It's partially fixed, not enough though so still waiting on that so my next project will either be the my rise or the showcase with Rey Mysterio I'm not really sure uh, which one I'm going to do but uh, I don't know probably the showcase because it does have an ending to it I don't think my rise does We'll see. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I will see you next session for WrestleMania and the end of the My Gym mode. Thanks for joining me. Have a good night.